Hi guys, so today I'm going to be talking to you about the type of stitching that I do in my junk journals and I'm going to tell you guys how I sew around the corner, how I sew a circle, how I explore new stitches, how I stitch uh, collages together, and we'll talk about needle size and thread kind that I use. Um, so first we are going to talk about sewing around the edge and how I accomplished this look. Um, it took me a while to figure this out. I watched a couple of videos on how to sew um, a fabric and it seems to be that the right hand side of the stitching is what's gonna show on your paper and the, uh, I'm sorry, the left hand side is what's gonna show on your paper and the right hand side is what is going to fall off the edge. So as you can see here, if you follow the little foot on your um, sewing machine, it will uh, help you align and you need to fall off the last little uh, sewing foot so that it um, yeah you gotta fall off that edge right there and then it will uh, sew around the edge so that's basically how I accomplished this look I spent a lot of time doing this stitch um, around all my ephemera um, I have done a couple other stitches. There's this other stitch that I really like, um, but I usually just go with the regular zigzag. So on this uh, piece of ephemera or journal card, I'm actually going to use another stitch. Um, it's another stitch that I really like, um, and I just use the normal factory settings for most of my stitching. Um, if it doesn't uh, work out, then I will change it up. But first, I like to test the um, the stitch uh, with just its regular settings. And if it's two uh, together, then I'll, I'll change the uh, stitch length. And uh, if it's not wide enough, then you can change the stitch width. And I'll talk to you a minute about how do I how I test this out. So I just really like this edge here. And so I'm pointing out that middle notch and that middle notch is how we sew around uh, circles and odd shaped cutouts. You just have to keep your paper aligned with that little notch at all costs and you can stitch really slow to help you. Um, it might look a little bit off in this video because I had to look through the camera to sew this. <laughs> so that was a little bit of a, uh, how should I say, an obstacle for me to get a uh, I could have gotten a better circle, but whatever. So you just follow that little um, that little notch in the middle of your foot, and that is what you use to help yourself align the edge of your circle at all times. And as long as it stays aligned with that, then you will sew a perfect circle. And there we go, we're finishing off that stitch, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. And there you go, it's really nice and even around the edge because we stayed on on that little notch in the middle. I love it, it looks good. And so now I'm gonna be sewing around this circle and again, I'm going to follow that uh, little notch in the middle of the foot to be able to sew this circle. And you can go really slow, which is what I normally do for the circles. I go super slow, and you just move the move your fingers around to turn it so that it keeps matching up with that edge in that foot. That little notch. I don't know if it has a name. <laughs> and so that's how I get my good looking circles. You just get really nice, even stitching around. And now I'm going to be sewing around an odd shaped um, cutout. And basically what I do is I start off sewing around the most straightest edge that I can find. And then you just move the uh, cutout along the edge. And you just keep matching it up with that notch until, um, until you're done. And then you can move your needle around. You can lift your needle up if you need to go a different direction, which we'll see in just a second. I'm gonna have to go around a different direction. Just keep 
matching up that notch along the edge and moving it around with your fingers and there's gonna come a part where you're gonna have to change the direction of your needle but until then you just keep going until you can match the edge and so here I'm gonna lift up just the foot not the needle and then I decided that I needed to lift the needle also so I did so I could reposition it and keep matching up that notch with the edge and then I keep apparently hitting the camera stand sorry about that <laughs> but I uh, just keep matching up that edge with the edge of the cutout and just moving usually I only end up moving the, the foot but sometimes you do have to move the needle and it just happens looks really nice I love it and now we're gonna talk about sewing collages so this is a little collage that I want to put together it's just three uh, die cuts that are on cardstock so this is three cardstocks three cardstock papers put together and it sews through it like butter you guys I have no problems at all doing this and um, you can also glue it together I have I haven't had any problems with that you might just want to change your needle often um, uh, like I said, I don't know much about sewing, so maybe that's not a good idea, but I haven't had any problems doing it once or twice. But I usually just end up either stapling it or I will glue it. I don't have any problems gluing it. So I'm just going around the edge, lifting the foot up and changing direction whenever I need to, to keep the notch with the edge. And like I said, usually I don't have to lift up the needle, but sometimes I do, and that's okay. okay I'll just change directions there. So, so the camera that I did didn't end up very well, so it happens just wanted to show that <laughs> sometimes it happens so now we're going to talk about testing new stitches I usually tend to stick to the usual like three or four that I really really like um, but I do sometimes explore new stitches this machine has a lot of stitches so right now we're gonna and then I use those bottom ones so right now I'm gonna pick out a stitch that I don't do very often which is number 75 and I'm just gonna use the settings that are um, just default and if there's anything wrong with it then I'll adjust that's usually how I test new um, new stitches and here I'm pointing out the little notches in the foot that you can look out for how the stitching comes out and then you can adjust accordingly usually I like to uh, pick an edge and then stick to it like that two inch line I'm pointing to right now that way it comes out straight and if it's not if it's it's not going straight I can fix it back and put it back to be straight so I'm just gonna go ahead and stitch this one out and just see how it comes out and it came out pretty well you can see my tension is really well because it looks good on the outside and on the back so I guess that's how you can tell if your tension is, is off <laughs> I usually keep my tension at number four like I just showed right there on camera and um, I'm gonna be testing out another stitch and we're testing out number, let's see, number 68, which is really cute. So I'm just gonna use its uh, default settings. And then like I said, then I'll adjust if it, it doesn't come out right with the default settings, rather than just playing around with it first. So I do this first on a piece of cardstock before I use it on the actual ephemera I want to use for my junk journals. Um, that seems to have been working for me so far okay so as you can see here that stitch looks really nice also so now I'm gonna go ahead and try another stitch so that I can test it out and we're gonna go ahead and try number 23 this time and again I'm gonna use the factory settings and after that then I play around and see how it can change up but for this time we're just gonna do default settings and usually honestly I just use default settings it's just less of a headache so here you can see the card and you can fold it in half and it makes a really really cute 
journaling card. I really, really like this look. I think it looks super cute. And now our last topic is going to be the type of thread that I use and the needle size. I have gotten asked that. So basically what I use is as I go to Walmart and I get the, this brand right here, it's called Coats. And I think, yeah, one of them is cotton and one of them is all purpose. It doesn't say if it's cotton, but it works just fine. But I, I've been sticking mostly to this cotton thread. It's about 1200 yards and I really like it. And the needles that I use are universal. Um, I haven't used any other size because Universal has been just working really great.